Dr. Arikana Chiumbari Kwao. I am the African Union Ambassador to the United States of America. Our offices are located on 1640 Wisconsin Avenue, Northwest in Washington, DC. I am here as your ambassador with two main mandates. The first one is to promote Africa in the Americas. And the second one is to galvanize the African diaspora to participate in the development of Africa. Who are the African diaspora? According to the African Union definition, African diaspora are all people of African descent living outside Africa. The 55 African heads of state understand very clearly that in order for Africa to take its rightful place on the world stage, in order for sustainable development to come to Africa, the African diaspora must be front and center of that conversation. So it is precisely why I'm here to have a conversation with you all, my fellow brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. As you all know, I was appointed by Chairman Zuma, the former chair of the African Union. And currently, our new chair is His Excellency Musafaki Mahamad. He took office two years ago. Both of them are also very clear about the need for the African diaspora to participate in the development of Africa. Madam Zuma, on my last conversation with her, she jokingly said, you know, my sister, the African diaspora are a very diverse population. Unfortunately, children of Africa who don't really get along, who don't understand each other, who don't like each other sometimes, but be it as it may, she did have hope that if we continue to engage each other, if we continue to understand each other, maybe, just maybe, we would see enough reason to come together, put aside our differences, and speak with one voice, one continent, one Africa. So that is why I am here. And in order for us to begin to understand each other, in order for us to begin to engage each other in a meaningful conversation, first we must ask ourselves the question, how did we get here? How did Africa end up where Africa is? Allow me to take you to 1884, Berlin Conference. From November of 1884 to February of 1885, our colonizers met to discuss how to make sure that Africa and its children are forever defeated and dominated. Prior to 1884, they were going into Africa in a very haphazard way. They started stealing from each other what they had stolen from the Africans. They were getting ready to have a European war on the African soil. The then Chancellor of Germany, Bismarck, realizing that what was getting ready to happen, called in his sidekick, then King of uh, Belgium, Leopold, and said, we are getting ready to have a problem. Could we please call all the colonizers to come and meet in Berlin, Germany? Let's discuss, let's organize ourselves to see to it that we can effectively loot from the Africans. So it is the met between November of 1884 and 1885, precisely to make sure Africa and its children are forever defeated and dominated. The way they did it is by chopping Africa up into the tiny little economies that we see today. Countries like Burundi, Togo, Djibouti, Central African Republic, Malawi, Mozambique, the list goes on. Pretty much all the African countries that you see today that was by design. That was to see to it that Africa was forever defeated. That these small economies are economies that cannot survive on their own, or should they survive, they are easy to destabilize at the push of a button. That was 124 years ago. Fast forward 2019, nothing has changed. The jokes say, when they were strategizing and breaking up Africa and drawing these arbitrary boundaries, a husband and wife who were in bed in Malawi, by the time they woke up, the husband was in Zambia and the wife was in Malawi. That's how arbitrary the divisions were. Picture yourself driving from Zambia 
you're speaking English. Pretty soon, you're in Angola, you're speaking Portuguese. Pretty soon, you're in the DRC, you're speaking French. You Pretty soon, you are in Equatorial Guinea, you're speaking Spanish. Keep moving north, you're now in the southern part of uh, Cameroon, you're speaking English. You go up north, you're speaking French. Soon after that, you are in Nigeria, you're speaking English. It was such an arbitrary process, a process that brought maximum division among people who were once the same. We were powerful kingdoms. The countries of Africa that we know today, prior to 1884, they did not exist as these countries. The countries that we are today are a creation of the colonizers to see to it that we are forever defeated and dominated. To them I say colonizers, mission accomplished because Berlin Conference remains alive and well.